tying a yellow dancer. Now I've got a, a Kamazan B170 uh, size 8 with a 4mm bead. The thread I'm going to use to tie it is Uni 80 and Fire Orange. Now the Fire Orange thread can really show through when it's in the water. So start the thread at the eye of the hook, down a layer of thread, so right back till the thread sits in line with the barb of the hook. Now we've got some marabou, in this case white marabou. And you just want a couple of pinches. Just come in. There's a few broken ones in it, just take them out. Now the ends you'll have a small piece of skin from when you ripped it off. Just trim the ends away. Now moisten your fingers and pull back some of the excess fluff. A wee bit of skin there. Take your time, make sure you get it right. Now just moisten them. And then twirl it. Sit it on the hook. Quickly run the thread up. Trim off any tag end if you've got. Tie that down and now come back up and see nice tight lock and turns. Come in behind it a couple of times just to help it sit. Now the length, this point is going to trim the length. It's up to you, whatever you like. Now I'm going to tie in the rib, which is going to be some uni French oval. Take that off. Set it on the side. Run your thread up, but you don't need to worry about the body being all square with. Now I've got some light bright Firefox Peacock. So it's a black peacock, you can see it there, it's a beautiful colour. Works well for this fly. Get a big bit. Dub it onto your thread, it dubs very easily. Sure it's secure. If you've got a wee bit extra, just take it off your thread and treat it like any other material. Tie it down nice and tight. At this point, you can just have a wee look. Okay. Now the hackle that I'm going to use is a yellow cock. The barbs are quite, it's quite long. But it works very well. I set it on the side. Good couple of turns there.
No, I'm going to use Hackle Files for this bit. Now just start to wind it a complete turn at the head and just start to go down the body. Bring your rib over. I like two turns with the rib at the back, just ensure that that's held down. And then just bring your rib through. Complete turn at the head, cross your thread, tie that down, just come in, you can cut that away or you can just break it away, it's up to you. Now that is your basic yellow dancer tied, I mean you can finish off at that. If you want to, but what I'm going to do is just put a wee bit more of this peacock on it. You just need a tiny amount for this. Put that one at the head. Like that. Now just come in with your varnish. Varnish all your super glue. If you get any wee bubbles, you can just touch it and spread it round. A couple of turns. Come in with your whip finish. One, two, three. Put that nice and tight. I'm going to do the whip finish again. One, two, three. Now that will never pull out. I mean, you could keep that without varnish and that would never pull out. Now, what I'm going to do, I can find it in here. Sorry about that, right at the bottom. So just get a dubbing brush, i.e. in this case a lollipop or a popsicle for the Americans. Stick with some Velcro on it. Basically, I'm just going to comb that back, pulling out some of the peacock. Putting that into the wing. And that basically that accounts for your flash as well. And you can see the strands there, it really... It's a great fly, this. I've had a lot of fish on it. A lot of fish. And that is a very simple yellow dancer. Many thanks for watching and I hope you all have a happy new year.